No, I, th I think if, if anybody you know needs to take any criticism, it's most probably me today. Uh, you know, the, it, the Chelsea game took a lot out of the players on Monday, and maybe I should have freshened it up before the game started. It's, there's always that you know dilemma whether you stick with the players who did so well, or whether you make a few changes because they might be a little bit, uh, or might have run out of steam a little bit. We've had an unbelievable last six games. Four of them have been away from home, um, and it's it's always easy to look back and think well I should have done this and I should have done that but you know if anybody's going to take any criticism it should be it should be me really. Arsenal pretty hard to play against that first half. Well Walcott up front I, I think Walcott is outstanding as a front player I think his movement is, is absolutely first class you know you know he's going to score goals and can score goals um, and his movement was, was yeah top draw um, you know he's a different type of player than, than Giroud, I, I don't, don't care what anybody says. With the quality that Arsenal have got, you could play, you know, you could play with him or Giroud up front and still, still be very, very potent. Sheffield didn't take anything away from your, your end of the season. You know? Oh no, no. You know, I said to him afterwards. You know, to the six games we got, what did we get? Twelve points at the six games. It's an absolutely fantastic achievement. And um, you know, to, to play against the teams we played against. And the way we played as well was, was brilliant. Like I say, today, you could say it was a game too far. I'd more, I'd, I'd rather take the responsibility and the blame and say, I really should have freshened it up. I've been absolutely slaughtering him for not scoring. Um, and I think when he scored, I think he had a quick look over. Um, but now I'm really pleased with him. He's been outstanding this year. Have you got a new contract? I think, yeah, I think the club are talking to him. I think they, you know, they've made him an offer, but you know, it's discussions now between him and him and the football club, which thank God I don't get involved in. Do you think that goal proves how vulnerable Arsenal can be at set pieces? They're better obviously playing them on, on Saturday. Everybody can be vulnerable at set pieces. You know, it's not just Arsenal we've scored against this year off set plays. You know, you, you have to, you know, you have to recognise and understand that set places for plays for and against. Uh, are very, very important, and um, you know, we will get on that. Did you expect Walcott to play today? Were you surprised that they played him? I was hoping he wasn't going to play. Because of the speed? Because of the pace, yeah. yeah. The pace and the, the, the movement, I think he's got, like I say, I think he's an outstanding player. If you're two children, you say that, um, you don't get what anyone says about Giroud, who poses the biggest threat? Giroud or Well, as I've just said, I think Arsenal could play with Giroud and with walk up either and still be whichever way you play with the quality that they've got it'll be a threat either way because they have got such quality around that one player um, it's just different he's just completely different to Giroud and um, you know, so, uh, I ain't going to tell Arsenal what to do and what not to do looking ahead to next season Tony, how encouraged are you with looking ahead to next season I'm <laughs> looking ahead to tomorrow at 6am <laughs> to get down to Tower Bridge to jump in that boat and row across the channel you know that that's my thing. Seven days in a, in a boat now, for, you know, for charity. So that's the thing I'm looking for, or not looking forward to, but thinking about more than anything else. How do you set the season? Uh, I think it's been fantastic. It's more probably the toughest job I've had for all sorts of reasons, and uh, the players have been fantastic. To to get to 44 points, I think we finished 13th is is brilliant. You know, it's absolutely brilliant, and they deserve a lot of credit. 27 points you've taken. Yeah, I know. 54 points would put you in the top 10, wouldn't it? Yeah. So that's what we'll expect next season. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think about that when I'm rolling that channel. <laughs>